What's up, everyone? This is the Undead Femme Dude Podcast. Uh, my name is Robert Wolf. If you're new here, welcome. Um, so for today's episode, this is my first episode, by the way. So for today's episode, I just wanted to talk about toxic masculinity because I think it's something that just really needs to be talked about. So I grew up actually um, as an athlete. I was in a lot of sports, football, basketball, track and field, baseball. Um, male sports can just be full of, of toxic masculinity, especially football when you know, and the stuff that would happen in the locker room was just super weird and inappropriate, you know, and you're, you're a young man, you're trying to discover yourself, and it can't be, it's not the best influence sometimes. Um, I liked sports because I, I grew up in a toxic environment at home, and it was nice to have a family because I never felt like I had a family, but with sports, I had that, um, and it was just a way to, you know, I was growing up with a lot of anger because of my also because of my upbringing so it was nice to kind of take that on sports in a healthy way but I realized that as I grew up that I had to undo a lot of stuff that I learned as a kid because um, I was toxic in a lot of ways like I grew up you know thinking someone dressed differently than me that's that's weird and that's what that's why I try so hard to educate people now because I don't want them to do the stuff that I did when I was younger because it was wrong it was I wasn't you know, I just grew up around that environment. That's not an excuse. Um, and I learned that it was wrong and I had to undo the things that I learned because I didn't want to be that person. That was, it wasn't cool. People need to be allowed to express themselves and be who they truly are and not hold that in because it's just, it's not good for them in so many ways just to hide who they truly are, especially when it comes to like, I, I know mental health is so, for men, it's so weird. It's such a weird thing to talk about mental health, like going to therapy, like, even up until like a few years ago, I couldn't cry in front of people because I was afraid, I was ashamed to cry because, you know, it shows weakness and men can't cry and men need to be the rock. And it's just that that mindset just needs to go away. We all have emotions. We all have masculine and feminine energy. We all need to be able to express these emotions in a healthy way. And if we don't, we just bottle them up. And I know a lot of men like to con to bring up the old times, you know, when we're storming the beaches and fighting and it's like is that what men should be <laughs> is that what you think about when you think about men there's a lot more to men than just fighting and you know being in wars and stuff like that's that's just stupid if, if that's your idea of masculinity that's i'm sorry but that's dumb there's so much more to us and i think we all we need to 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 not be afraid to dive into our feminine energy like i started um a few years ago i started painting my nails and they need to get repainted I know but and I, I wear eyeliner and you know I started off with just the nails because I saw it on TikTok I thought it looked cool and I liked it you know and it's just like I did get made fun of online but who cares I just I reached the age where I just stopped caring and then I want to teach younger people that it's okay to be yourself people are always going to try to tear you down no matter who you try to be you can be the nicest person ever and you'll still find people you can it doesn't matter who you are people will try to make fun of you for something and it's just it's just shame but that's just the world that we live in so that's another reason why we need to work on our mental health and not you know attack people online and troll them because we don't go to therapy that's not a healthy way to that's not a form of therapy making fun of people online so i think you know we've i've seen it online a lot you know men painting their nails, wearing dresses, and they get made of, made fun of so much just for doing that. And it's just, it's so programmed in our brains that this is what men are. They do this, these are our hobbies, these are what women are. This is what they do, these are their hobbies. And it's like, you can't have different hobbies. It's, it's so dumb that we have to stick in this lane, this made up lane. And no, we are, we're free to express ourselves, we're free to have different hobbies, we're free to wear what we want to as long as it's not you know, appropriating culture or anything like that. But we're free to wear women's clothes. And it's just, it makes me so happy when people express themselves and they find themselves and they're like, wow, this is who I wanted to be this whole time. And they finally, you know, step into the person that they were meant to be. And it just, I don't know, it brings a smile to my face. The one thing that is always bothering me is the homophobia. It's just, like, especially when you see, like, a guy with painted nails, like, someone will assume, you know, that you're gay. And, like, obviously there's nothing wrong with being gay. So it's, like, we need to stop using that as an insult. It's not an insult. And also, like, it's just because someone, a straight man, paints their nails, like, that that doesn't make him gay. Like, you can be straight and paint your nails, believe it or not. So that's, that's, that's not how that works. A lot of the problem is with us because we are the ones like men struggle with 
they see a man expressing himself, they see a man being vulnerable and they make fun of him. Like a man expressed, you know, deciding to wear a dress, like you make fun of, like people make fun of him. Um, even if they don't do it in person, like you go online and it's just like so toxic and their true feelings come out and it's just, I get it, someone looks different, but that's okay. Like if we all were the same person, what kind of world would that be? Uh, it's, it's great when people want to look different and be different because they're different people. And just because you don't want to do it doesn't mean you need to make fun of someone else because they want to do it. You need to be the ones that lift other men up, especially. Um, we all need to lift each other up and allow someone to express themselves because look at what happened in the old days when people kept everything bottled up, you know, when the real men existed. Um, it didn't go too well. <laughs> it didn't go too well for their family. And, you know, they, they did not know how to control their emotions as much as they want to say it. And there's, there's nothing wrong that doesn't make you weak because you want to go to therapy and work on yourself. That makes you more of a man than someone who refuses to, I think. Um, because you want to better yourself and you want to be a better person for not only yourself, but everyone around you in the world. If you're interested in exploring your femininity, especially if you're younger, don't be afraid to. People are going to judge you, they're going to make fun of you, but that's a problem they have within themselves. That's not a problem with you. So keep being you. You know, If you want to start, start small, paint your nails, whatever. But do not be afraid to be yourself. You know, you're unique and it's, you're, you're, it's, there's one, one you in this world. So you might as well be the authentic you and not be a copy of other people. You know, bring the truest, best version of you into this world. And if everyone did that, this world would be a pretty amazing place. That's all I wanted to cover today. I know it's a bit of a shorter episode. We're gonna get longer episodes going once we get this we get the hang of this. Um, but thank you for coming in. This is the Undead Femme Dude Podcast. I'll see you guys next week, Monday. Bye.